Hey fam, what's good? This is your girl Nikki, AKA The Bayou Chick, and I am back to do a quick video for one of my subscribers, Life as Kia, asked me a couple of questions, so I wanted to get this out really quickly before I get paged. So she has a bachelor's degree in health sciences, and she wanted to know what are some um, occupations that she could find in the DFW area that could make her a, um, you know, put her degree to work, make her, you know, some good money. And also she asked about housing. She's thinking about moving to the Addison area. And so she wanted somewhere that was clean and safe, but also some place that was good for a young adult, I believe. So uh, let me start off with the uh, Addison area. So my aunt, she used to live in Addison. I think Addison is a good area for young adults because they, if you're a foodie, I'm gonna say that. That's one of the things that Addison is known for. They have like a lot of um, different food fest festivals and uh, during the summertime. So they're always opening up new restaurants. They may not always last long in Addison, but they're always coming out with new restaurants. They normally go to Addison. So it's always a place where like you get off work, you can go and meet and mingle and hang with other, you know, young professionals. They also have a lot of clubs. When I was in my 20s, that was the place where we all went to Addison and we would club hop in the Addison area. Uh, Deion Sanders even had his club over there back in the day, Blackberries. But they had a lot of clubs. They have the names changed, the building is still the same, but you know they change names over time and change the decor. Um, but Addison does have a lot of restaurants, a lot of clubs. That's where the young people pretty much go. You know, they you, you have different types. You have the people that live up north, like in Plano. They don't want to go all the way downtown, so they'll stop in Addison and hang out there. Um, and then you have the people, that, of course, that live downtown. They're not gonna maybe they they're not gonna come to Addison all the time, but they're gonna go to different um, areas in uh, downtown Dallas. You know, different bars to frequent. So it really depends. But people up from up north, they tend to hang out in the Addison area. I found that to be the case. Now, as far as like what you would consider to be affordable housing in Addison, so when my family, I have. Um, one of my aunts, she's a professor. Um, her and my uncle, they lived in the Farmers Carrollton Branch area. They had a house there for years. Um, well, I would say it was pretty pricey back then because I really wasn't making that much money. Now, it wouldn't be a big deal. So it really depends on what your salary is, what you would consider affordable. If you're just trying to get an apartment, yeah, you might pay about two or $300 more living in Addison, but because you have all those amenities around you, it may be worth it to you. Also, if you work up in that area, it may be worth it to you because you don't have to deal with the commute. So it really just depends on what you're willing to give up. If, you're, if you know I'd rather pay a little bit more to be closer to this area, then that's, you know, it's really kind of relative. But Addison does cost more than, say, an apartment across the Trinity River. Addison, Farmers Branch, Carrollton, they have really good school districts. I know I know you didn't mention any kids, but so when you think about whenever they have um, good school districts, you're gonna kind of tend to be in one of those super zip codes. And so the premium is gonna be placed on housing. Um, Irving is more affordable. That's a little, that's, you could probably look at the map quest, but Irving would be a little bit more affordable for singles. You know, um, but again, that's kind of going like toward the DFW airport type area. But it is, you know, they have a lot of apartments and things like that in that area. Um, but Addison, you know, like I said, if you get a job that, and you're making really good money, it wouldn't be anything to you. So um, that's what I'm going to say. I would say like an apartment in Addison, things have changed now. So don't quote me on this, but you can go to like rentjungle.com and check the prices too. Um, but I would say like a one bedroom in Addison would probably run you maybe $1,200 for a one bedroom compared to maybe Irving, you might get one for like 900, you know? So it really just depends on what you're wanting and the amenities again. Uh, to you, that may not be anything, but to somebody else, they may say that's a lot for a one bedroom. Somebody coming from Cali may say, hey, that's nothing, you know? Um, so that's what I have to say about the Addison, the cost of living in Addison. There's a lot there. I like it. It's, to me, I feel like it's, it's, it's safe you know, being over there. Never had any issues. My aunt had like a, one of my aunts had a beautiful apartment. She also worked for Mary Kay Corporate. She made like a ridiculous amount of money. So, you know, I loved her place. Actually, her apartment was so nice. I was like, I don't even think I would even want to leave and go to work. It was, it was so nice and comfortable. Okay, so back on the topic of your degree, your bachelor's in health sciences degree. 
Okay, you didn't really mention if you wanted to basically stay on the info, the uh, clinical side, the informatics side, if you wanted to do make, uh, office work or sales with it. There's a lot that you can do with that degree. Um, so what I'll say in the Dallas area, I took, I wrote down some different salary amounts. I'm just going to read them off just because I didn't want to store all that in my head. But um, you could work as a clinical coordinator at some of the major hospitals. You know, Dallas has, you know, Methodist, Children's, you got UT Southwestern, you got Medical City Dallas, you got all the HCAs, you got Baylor. So if you get in one of those huge hospitals, you definitely can get in there. I don't know how much experience you have if you just got this degree, but if you, uh, say for instance, are new, I would say start out with maybe like one of those major hospitals, get your foot in the door to see what uh, area you want to focus on with your degree and definitely those type of those type of companies tend to help you move up through the ranks and to build your resume and your work experience in that field before you jump off to say something like sales where you're going to need at least two to three years of experience now of course with sales you can make six to seven figures depending on if you're selling medical equipment or you know what you're doing but you're going to need experience you couldn't just go like into sales right off the bat, but having a bachelor's degree would help. So, um, like I said, clinical coordinator with some major hospitals, health, the health administration side, you can get into info, uh, informatics. Um, if you wanna do a physical job, I don't know if you wanted to use that bachelor's degree and try to go to chiropractic school or occupational therapy school, cause you could use it as a, a way to get your foot in the door for those type of schools. And they have those in the Dallas area as well. Um, they're saying um, for health service manager, they're, pay, may, um, they're paying about 96K claims reviewer for some of these insurance companies that's 56k um health ed health education specialist 53k um all the way down to a community health specialist which is 37k that might be really that would be one of those jobs i would take if i couldn't get nothing else because that's not going to be enough for you to even kind of you know once you pay your rent you're not going to have much to enjoy but you know some people you know, they just want to, they just want to get their foot in the door. Um, also, like I said, sales, about 78K starting out. Uh, so those would be some options. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you don't have any experience, I would say um, get in with some of those major hospitals. They're always easy to get into. Uh, I've never really had an issue. I've never, I mean, I don't see them giving you like a really hard time. Also, um, I don't know how far you want to go if you want to do the professional track, but there are a lot of different groups. I would get into some... Uh, start networking with some of these business organizations like maybe getting